When Jehoiakim was king of Judah, Babylon's king, Nebuchadnezzar went with his army to Judah. Because God's people had sinned against him, God allowed King Nebuchadnezzar to take over the city of Jerusalem. King Nebuchadnezzar's leaders gathered a group of young men from among the Israelites and brought them to Babylon. The king wanted people who were healthy, handsome, and good learners to serve in his palace. Every day, King Nebuchadnezzar gave the young men special meals. They ate the same food and drank the same drinks that the king ate and drank. They would be trained for three years. Then they would be ready to serve the king. Four of the young men from Judah were different from the others in the group. They worshiped the Lord, the one true God. Their names were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The man in charge of the group gave them new Babylonian names. Daniel's new name was Belteshazzar, Hananiah's new name was Shadrach, Mishael's new name was Meshach, and Azariah's new name was Abednego. Even though Daniel and his new friends weren't in Judah anymore, Daniel wanted to be faithful to God. God's laws told Daniel what he could and could not eat. Daniel was not allowed to eat some of the food that the king gave the young men. Daniel asked the man in charge for permission to eat other foods. Daniel said, try this for 10 days. Let us eat only vegetables and drink only water. Then see if we are healthier than the other young men. The guard agreed. At the end of 10 days, Daniel and his friends looked healthier than the young men who had eaten the king's food. After that, the guard allowed Daniel and his friends to keep drinking water and eating vegetables. God was happy that Daniel obeyed him. God blessed Daniel and his friends. He made them wise and smart. They learned lots of new things. God gave Daniel the ability to understand visions and dreams. When their training was over, Daniel and his friends stood before the king. The king saw that they were smarter and stronger than all the other young men. They were even smarter than the wise men who worked for the king. Daniel served the king for many years. Daniel was faithful to God, and God blessed him. In an even greater way, Jesus was always faithful to God. He came to earth and followed God's plan to save sinners. Those who trust in Jesus receive God's forgiveness and blessing.